Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're doing a first impressions on a Puppy Linux distribution which is based on a, I think it uses Ubuntu 14.04 Trusty. I've never used this before. So if you look there you can see just short of 300 megabytes is in use. But don't forget I'm recording with Voco screen. So it was about 200 megabyte of a download and I used UNET booting and installed it directly onto a USB 32 gig and that's what we're booting from now. So it's a live session but you can save everything. So essentially you could have a computer with no hard drives whatsoever and just have a USB stick plugged into a USB drive and you can you can load it up. I've had a few issues with the sound. I couldn't get the sound working correctly but that's not so much this fault. I use a external sound card for my sound because my PC is not actually in the same room as me. I use a USB extension to drag the audio. I just hate the sound of a computer next to me all the time. Alright, so there you can see what we've actually got there. I've never used this web browser before. Give you a bit of time to have a look. Okay, so it's not connecting to my WordPress blog. Apparently, there's an issue with the time, but uh, I think it's just because this is a, a, a weird browser. Okay, so Google's fine. Let's try YouTube. Yeah, see so YouTube doesn't support this browser, so we'll we'll, um, we'll get Firefox up, and that gives us a time to actually look how you install applications on this. So they have their own their own package manager, puppy package manager. Oh, I don't have a clue what I'm doing with all of this, but Right, so it opens up a little dialog box there. It's installing the packages. Taking a little bit of time. Oh, and also because of the sound card issue, I'm having to add this audio as sort of a narration, so I've had to boot into a different operating system and then narrate over this. Not the way I like to do it, because it's meant to be a first impression, but it's almost like your second impression, but there you go. Um. Okay. 
And as you can see, YouTube will be working fine now. It was just the old opera, uh, the old web browser didn't like it. As I mentioned, though, I couldn't get the sound going, so it wouldn't. It would play the YouTube videos, but it wouldn't wouldn't pull any sound through. And as you can see, the website I tried to go to before the blog, it works fine. So it was just a web browser issue. Just pull one of my videos up quickly. As I say, I'm probably doing this all completely wrong. I'm not. I've never ever used this this particular Linux before. I'm just clicking random buttons now. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to keep the um, I'm going to keep the USB stick with this on it, and then it's just good to keep in your in your drawer or something when you're having a computer issue or whatever and you can't boot into an operating system. Smash that into a USB port and then bang, you can diagnose whatever. I thought restarting the browser might have helped, but no. Couldn't get Libre to work. I mean, I you'll see in a minute. I sort of I go through their package manager, but. I wonder if I could install the Ubuntu Software Center actually, that's something I should have tried. I didn't realise that it actually has a word processor installed, so... You'll see that in a minute. And give up on that. But then, look, didn't even see, got it right there. So, out of the box, you can still, you know, write a document. And I'm probably just being stupid, I'm not used to this whole puppy Linux thing, so. Let me just sort of very basic file browser. 
One thing I don't like is the single click. I hate single click on anything. And sort of single clicking your icons or whatever. I'm sure there's a setting somewhere where I can disable that. Again with the sound, I'll just... I'm sure after a bit of fiddling I can sort it out. To be honest, it's, it's, it's whether there's any su sort of driver support for the external sound card I use. Uh, I'm sure if I plugged um plug the line in directly into the computer it'd be absolutely fine. It's an interesting little distro and uh, I'll probably do a couple more videos on it once I've got sort of a bit more of a grip to it. So this is the first impression and to be honest I'm quite impressed. You know it's a 200 megabyte ISO and it, it comes with a lot of what you need out of the box. So and you can't break your system playing about with it because it's on a USB stick so if you want to go and grab it I'll leave a just I'll leave a link in the description.